guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Before I get started, um, I noticed that a lot of my stuff, most of my stuff honestly, is for the love of Christian fiction. Everything except my YouTube channel. So I was thinking that I'm going to be changing my YouTube channel name to For the Love of Christian Fiction to match the rest of my stuff so that people don't get confused. My Twitter handle is still for, for love of books and I believe my Facebook page is for, is for the love of books but my handle itself is for the love of Christian fiction. So everything is for the love of Christian fiction except YouTube so that will be changing so if you see that change do not be alarmed I did do that. A couple days ago on Instagram I put a pull up in my story and I asked you guys what you would like to see for today's video. I asked if you would like to see five of my favorite books or five of my favorite characters. It was a landslide going towards five of my favorite books. I purposely did not say top five because I cannot do that. <laughs> that would be next to impossible for me. So I just did five of my favorite books. Now I decided to not include any books from series in this five and I also decided to pick one from each author that I have. I only have one of their books because I didn't want it to be a complete, because I can do a complete collection of some of these authors, which could be a fun video then too. Hmm. So without further ado, I'm going to show you five of my favorite stories and books. Book one is Marrying the Major by Victoria uh, Bylin. Victoria Boleyn, I think that's how you say it. I love this book so much. I've only read it once, but it's definitely one that I want to grab and reread. It is about Tristan Willoughby Smith and Carolina Bradley. Caroline Bradley, excuse me. And he's actually British, and she, he needs a governess for his two kids, but in the end, they have to get married for some wackadoodle because of the father-in-law, right? I think it's the father-in-law or his or father, but I'm pretty sure it's the father-in-law. And it is just such a cute story about a mixture of marriage of convenience. So this was definitely very cute. I loved it and I definitely cannot wait to read it again. Book two, you have seen me talk about before, and if you are following my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction, shameless promo, <laughs> you would have seen that I've talked about this book on there before as well. That is Accidental Fiance by Mary Moore. I love this book so, so, so much. And it's definitely one whenever I'm in a reading slump or I just can't seem to get into anything. I grab this book. I love it. It's so cute. I love the story. It follows Grace and Brandon. Grace Endingcott and Brandon Roth. And she tries to help him so he doesn't get trapped into a marriage. And in the end, actually gets him trapped into an engagement with her. It's... I love this book. I've read it probably six times. I seriously adore this book. Even if I'm not in the reading slump and I'm just in the mood for something that I just love, this is definitely the book that I grab. I love it. <sighs> it's a, I need to pick it up again and read it soon. Plus, the girl on the cover is gorgeous. So, hello. The green eyes, the emerald, I just, I love it. There is a little bit of a mystery, suspense kind of um, line running through the book. It's not overwhelming, but it keeps your attention on the story and makes them fall in love even deeper and know that they're perfect for each other. So, I did enjoy that aspect. It book three, I only, again, I only picked one from each author. This was very difficult for me for the next two because I have all of their books and I love all of their books. So, 
but I chose this one because it is probably one of my favorite books from this author. I It took me forever to get to it because I had so many of her other books to read and I don't know why, but as soon as I started reading it, I just knew deep inside of my heart that I loved it. Like, it is The Silent Governess by Julie Klassen. I, or is it Klassen? I don't know. This book, seriously, so amazing. I love it so much. So it is following Lord Bradley and Olivia Keene. He overhears something that she shouldn't hear about this family. And he takes her into his employ so that she doesn't say anything and she can't say she's not allowed to speak so she is literally the silent governess it's i mean there's other aspects to it but i don't want to spoil it that's pretty much the gist of the book it's so good i need to reread it i loved it Again, Julie Clausen is, or Clausen, <laughs> Julie Clausen is another one who has some layers of suspense in her books, but the big novels normally do just to keep you engaged and keep you into the book, and she writes them wonderfully. So I am definitely looking forward to rereading this book, but this next one is also another author that I absolutely love with all of my heart and again I have all of her books so I only just I chose to pick one and because I also gave myself the stipulation not to pick from a series I couldn't pick a couple of her other books so I chose this one and I love this book I have read this book I think two or three times. I will be reading this book again. And that is Head in the Clouds by Karen Whitmire. Can we just talk about this for a minute? This cover, Karen Whitmire's crew does Stand up job. I love her covers. Okay, so if you see, I don't know if my camera will focus on it. She is reading and she's on the porch. Well, you can see her foot is off. She's not paying attention. So on the back cover, she fell. Uh, you just see her flying off the porch. When I got this book, I literally laughed out loud because I loved the cover so much. I loved the attention to detail of her actually falling over. It was fabulous. I loved it so much. This one's different because there's no hero on it at all, which kind of breaks my heart just a little, but at the same time, I'm so in love with Gideon that I have my own mental picture and I don't want anything ruining it. So, this is Head in the Clouds, and I'm actually going to talk about the book now and not just ramble about all of her other books, which are amazing. This is following Adelaide. Is it Adelaide? 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 I'm going to say Adelaide. Adelaide. Adelaide Proctor and Gideon Westcott. And Gideon is a English gentleman who came to Texas to be a sheep farmer. And he has a young girl as his charge who is not his daughter, but he is. she is the daughter of his heart. And he needs a governess. Again, it's just... So there's a bunch of ladies that come, and Adelaide gets the job, and they fall in love. Of, of course, there are suspense lines that draw through it. There are a couple scenes that get a little dangerous, but that just keeps everybody engaged in her books and keep coming back because, again, she writes them. Like, you hate her villain because he's slimy and he's creepy and you just don't like him. But that's perfect because that's how she wrote him and it it's great. There are a couple sad scenes that I know why I cried. 
I cried through this book and books I cry a lot I'm not gonna lie but I don't cry much when I read but there's something in this book Whew. it's so sad and I will talk about that in another video because I do have a tag coming up with this book you will see it again for one of the questions last but definitely not least I love this story so much I've read it a lot this is actually a short story in a collection of books, and that is Wedded to Honor from the Convenient Bride Collection. Wedded to Honor is written by Jennifer Yaleric, I want to say that's how you say her name. She writes a lot for these collections. I have a couple other collections with her writing, and I love it. It's beautiful, but Wedded to Honor... I love it so much. Okay, so it's following, let me get the thing jigger. It's following Ashton Rutherford and Honor Kill. It is about Ashton and Honor, and I love that name so much, it's so cute. So, Honor's parents passed away, and in the will, they said that she has to be married by her 21st birthday or 25th birthday. I can't remember, but she has to be married in order to keep the land. So her brother, stepbrother or brother, again, I can't remember that minor detail, or he gets it. And he wants it, I don't even think he wants it for the, like, farming, because she loves the farm so much. He just wants it, like, to spite her because he hates her so much. So, she gets a mail order groom, which, how fun is that? And Ashton answers it because he wants to get away from his parents because they are stiffy bleh, society people. And he doesn't like that. He's sick of it. So, he actually leaves in rebellion against his father and his family. And in the end, they do fall in love. And, of course, there is a little bit of... Um, villain-esque in the book. The brother does stuff to get back at honor and try to prove that the marriage is fake because it was a marriage of convenience. I love those stories. So that is probably, I think it's my favorite, one of my favorite stories in this collection and it's still one of my favorite stories. I've read it multiple times. Like I will grab the book and just read Wedded to Honor because it's only like 60 some odd pages or something like that. It's short. I love it. I can look through it. I will probably read it again because I love it so much. So those were my five books. Five of my favorite books slash stories since, I mean, can we consider a short story a book? Yeah, you know what? We are. So those are my five, five of my favorite books. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Let me know if you read any of these books, if you enjoy them as much as I do. Also, go ahead and let me know one of your favorite books. Maybe I'll check it out, see if I like it, or see if I've even read it. <sighs> and now I just want to go and reread all these books. Ah! Thank you guys so much for helping me this week giving me a video idea. I feel like I've been so behind, so out of it this week. I am normally on top of video making, on top of my blog, on top of everything, but I was just so out of it this week that I couldn't think of anything. So thank you so much for everybody who answered on Instagram. If you want to be involved in polls like this sometime, go ahead and follow me on Instagram for the love of Christian fiction. And go ahead and check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com. And I think that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.